Welcome to Rodas Blackmail Reviews. This time we travel to Belgium, as I have no idea how Belgium's actual, Belgian people actually um, say English, you know, with their proper accent. I cannot even try to uh, imitate it, if you will. So let's focus on the album at hand. This is a band called Lekte, and uh, this is their first CD release called Abandon. Now, soon I will show you the band's a metal archive site and explain uh, what is this album all about or EP as it's actually called but first I'll show you the insides of this um, physical release as you can see there are five tracks released by Wolfspell Records very uh, simple design to be honest I don't know what this cover is supposed to be to me it seems like a Kind of a Xerox copied mishmash. I don't know what it's supposed to be. But here you have the track list and I'm gonna get on this a little bit later. It has three songs from the Abandoned EP, which is also the name of this release, and two bonus tracks from the demo. And that's how simple this is. No recording information whatsoever, no information at all. So here we have this Metal Archives site with the demo uh, from 2019 and the abandoned 2019 as you can see if we just click this open it shows three songs on this abandon only 24 minutes or so but if we take a look at this cd version suddenly there are five tracks and these two first tracks which makes this uh, cd version like 40 minutes long they're obviously the demo tracks which kind of makes sense why put out an EP and then you know just hang out those um, demo versions when you can just put it out all and make it kind of whole and um, that basically compiles all the information there is because like I said no uh, location mentioned no uh, information when it was formed uh, no members nothing is mentioned it's very mysterious and it kind of uh, actually fits the music because the music here is kind of a rawish fast tempo-ish not all the way fast tempo, but mostly. And kind of a sinister and yet also a little bit melancholic black metal. And there's kind of this mysterious shade uh, around the album. That is, it's kind of a... Um, how to say it? There's something weird or kind of a, like entering an abandoned building. Well, this thought's probably spawned because of the name, but this is kind of a stepping into the unknown so while it actually sounds very much like 1990s black metal bands kind of a fast tempos with that its atmospheric parts and being very very dark it's also a little bit mysterious nature and the lack of information kind of uh, emphasizes the feeling and uh, i actually like the music quite a lot it's not so much like these single riffs are that good and it's not like uh, the vocals are very uh, good in fact because they're more on the background it's shrieking and all that stuff but you know the whole feeling is what makes these albums worth listening i gave it quite a few spins to be honest before making this review and i was constantly enjoying the atmosphere more than just a single individual part now there's only one thing which kind of bothers me not too much but maybe as much that i need to address it and it's the production that is the sound of the album and that is kind of a mushy. It's kind of a, well, very home recording like demo. And there is not so much difference between the de actual demo tracks, the bonus tracks, and as the abandoned first three tracks, because it's all pretty much the same. That doesn't bother how that much, however, because it's actually kind of a time travel thing to back in the 1990s, especially the early years when, you know, the studio quality wasn't that good in fact especially with the black metal ones i mean obviously heavy metal death metal and so forth had the bigger budget usually and bigger studios but in the early 90s well some of those recordings are quite not too shabby if you know what i mean in terms of production and this is kind of a you know continuing that legacy in so many ways and um, that kind of a creates nice uh, throwback feeling in the 90s i wouldn't say even retro because I don't know if this is kind of intentional retro sound, but definitely a throwback thing. And I I have to think that, you know, 
if this album was done with better sound quality, something probably would have been compromised. But most likely, overall, the more riffs would have gotten more power and uh, kind of uh, making this even more sinister and more dark. But obviously, that is open for debate, open for guessing, because nobody actually knows how it would sound if that was the case. Be it as it may, uh, this is a very nice addition to the uh, Belgian black metal, which is not the best possible out there. I mean, they're interesting bands, but to be honest, none of those Belgian bands are big or major things in black metal, and it could be otherwise. Uh, so Legde is very, very interesting case, and I hope there will be new material coming out soon, because at least this demo plus EP kind of release is promising something very, very interesting to happen. So check it out. Um, I have here a Bandcamp link included in the description box where you can actually go and listen to the releases. So for example, here you have the Abandon and it has all these two, three tracks. And obviously uh, with this um, demo here, you can have the two tracks. So you can pretty much just go and listen or maybe buy them and, you know, just enjoy it. In my opinion, a nice release overall. So make sure that you give it a chance. Once again, thank you for watching, take care, and should you have any comments, questions, whatever, put them on the comment box below and I'll get back to you.